YouTube, how you doing? This is Photo Kevy, and we are checking out Lightroom 5 and working on uh, photos that are really difficult. Um, myself, uh, personally, I'd probably leave the photo as is. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I might do some minor adjustments here. Uh, but today, what we're trying to do is figure out how to deal with something like this and get it back to something that's a little bit more of uh, restoring it back to maybe its original look or if you needed the uh, skin tones to look a certain way uh, for your photos. And so this question came through uh, from a friend of mine, uh, Tim King, and uh, he wanted to see something about kind of a general workflow for dealing with images like this. Uh, probably not to this extreme, uh, but it's always good to work on extreme examples and that way you can kind of get the best of everything. Uh, so we'll kind of adjust the general settings on this image and uh, get a good working photo. And uh, one of the things, uh, particularly for images like this, I do like to drop the, sat uh, the vibrance down to uh, minus 10 and the saturation down to like a minus five. Um, and that's just, you know, a good general way to work with the photos uh, to get them to be a little bit more workable. So we've got the image uh, relatively close to what we need it to be based on uh, the settings here. Uh, like I said, important parts are vibrance and saturation. Uh, just knocking those back a little bit, uh, especially with really strong tones like magenta and red uh, being those, uh, those ones that your camera have a tougher time dealing with. Um, so one of the other things that we can do is jump into the HSL sliders here and um, kind of counteract that red tone a little bit to something like that. And let's kind of make those blues a little bit more bluer and shift those a little bit more to a blue tone. Uh, the other thing on saturation, let's switch over there uh, and drop that down as well. And we don't want to go too far. Uh, too desaturated here, you know, just to try and keep both elements of the image uh, the way we need it to. And then maybe on luminance, you know, drop the reds down. And uh, that way you can kind of get some of that, the deeper red tones there uh, to kind of play a part. Maybe boost the blues there. Uh, one of the other sections that I like to work in uh, with photos like this is actually in uh, split toning. And uh, one of the things. Uh, that's cool with split toning is um, you get you get two sections to kind of work with you get your highlights to work with and you get your uh, your shadows and you can kind of give them two different color tones and it might be something uh, that can kind of recover more of your image and uh, so I mean that's kind of generally how I work with photos to you know to kind of you know I'll work on them uh, that are that are difficult lighting conditions. Maybe the the lights of the of the environment have, you know, saturated your image the wrong way. Um, and so you know that's kind of a general workflow uh, that I do for you know photos like that. You know, just kind of recover as much of the image as you can, drop the saturation and the vibrance down, uh, do some editing in HSL. You know, to kind of uh, counteract whatever's going on. You know, shift the red colors you know, to more of a, you know, less of a red color, uh, maybe like an orange color. And then um, same with saturation, drop some of those tones down a little bit. And then luminous, you know, darken those things down just to kind of keep the mood of the photo that you need to. And uh, so, yeah, guys, that's um, kind of a general workflow for dealing with tough images and how, you know, stuff like HSL and split toning uh, really come in handy and help you out with uh, your stuff and your photos. All right. This is Photo Kevy. Uh, next week, we'll kind of just go over Lightroom in general, so keep a lookout for that next video.